Peter Persons is a uh, natural leader. He's a great asset to Idlauer clubs, and he's a great asset to the city of Macon. He just was a great golfer. Uh, very competitive. For him to make the tour, it, it just made me so proud. I think early on, most of us knew he was going to be a competitor. We didn't know how far he'd go, but we knew he was going to give it a try. The first time I stepped on a golf course was probably around four or five years old. I remember uh, really starting around 11 and 12, really getting really serious about the game. Peter was about 12 years old when uh, I could see a lot of potential with him, and I took him down to Sea Island to get him a lesson with Davis Love. We went out to the practice range and Davis handed Peter this forward and he said, see that 200 yard marker out there? He said, see if you can hit that marker. Well, he hit it right at the base of the marker. So Davis turned to me and said, what do you want me to do? <laughs> he looked to be very special. I called him a diamond in the rough. He was a good swinger and a natural swing and uh, I said, this is going to be something special. He loved to play, wanted to play all the time. When he was not playing, he was out beating those practice balls. You didn't have to tell him to practice. He'd go down there at the small range, and we had a, a green down there that was small, but was real undulated. Pete would stay down there for hours. I just loved, I loved the game, and I wanted to be good at it. I think size, my size had a little bit to do with it. You know, being a small guy, you know, I knew I couldn't be, you know, really good in football, basketball, or baseball, and I wanted to be good at something. He was a member of the American Junior Golf Association. We played in a lot, what took a lot of tournaments in and Peter won his share. Peter was a good junior player, but not a great junior player. He really blossomed once he got to the University of Georgia and took it up several notches and became a very good amateur once he got into college. Well, when I got to Georgia, I redshirted my first year. I realized that I had a long way to go, that I had to work my tail off if I was gonna break the lineup. At that point, I think I was spending a lot of time down at, uh, at Sea Island, and I got uh, associated with Mr. Davis Love and Jimmy Hodges down there, and through their instruction, you know, I really went the, to the next level from that moment on, I had a great and, and fun, successful college career. When Peter finally got on the tour, I believe it took him either two or three times going to the tour school. Well, when you turn professional and want to play golf for a living, you start out through uh, the PGA Tour qualifying process. After my first year of not getting my card, I played a series of you know smaller, what they call mini tour tournaments. and. Missed it again. The fourth year came around. I had a lot more confidence that I could get through the, the qualifying process and get my card. Well, he spent about 10 years uh, on the tour. The, the biggest excitement we all had was uh, he won his first year on tour. He won the Chattanooga Open. With a score of 22 under. I think I won $108,000 in the tournament, but I always joke around that I had a three and a half hour drive home, and I think all that money was spent before we got home. I feel that Peter is deserving to enter the Georgia Golf Hall of Fame, truly based on his record. While he was at Georgia, won the SEC, won the Georgia State Tournament, won the Peach Blossom, which took place here in Macon. He was a catalyst for Georgia golf. Pete sticks out like a sore thumb to me, and uh, he's well deserving. What I would like to say to Peter the, the night of the induction is first, how proud I am, how proud uh, his family is of him, and how proud he has made us. I would say, job well done. I'm sorry your grandfathers can't be here to witness this event, because they'd be awfully proud, as I will be too. Being a member of the Georgia Golf Hall of Fame, something that I certainly didn't think would, you know, would ever happen. But it just sort of gives me um, more responsibility to give back to the game. You know, I try to, I try to help out the juniors here because this is the best game in the world that you can play for a lifetime. And, the game that has given me so much. As far as the future, I, you know, I, I look forward to the times I do spend on the golf course because, of course, I'm trying to play as good as I can, but 
it's all about having a good time, being enjoying who you're with, and, and that's what I enjoy about golf now.